Hi, I'm Paul DeBartolomeo. Welcome to Training Minutes. In this segment, we're going to deal with progression lifting. A progression lift is basically lifting an object in stages. As we lift, we want to stabilize the load, and before we perform any extrication, we want to capture the load. In dealing with very heavy objects, sometimes it's uh, necessary to do a progression lift because we've maxed the bags out and their maximum capacity is only one inch. So we build up in stages as we go. As we see in this scenario, our first obstacle is that we have no real purchase point to place our airbags as this shipping container is flush to the ground. So our first task is to create a purchase for our airbags. We have several options in doing that. First off, we could use a mechanical advantage system creating a fulcrum using pry bars. As we apply downward pressure, we see the container beginning to lift. We simply take our wedges and we capture our progress. Now we can lower the bars onto the wedges. We've created a spot to place our airbags. A second method to gain a purchase is using the hydraulic forcible entry tool or the rabbit tool, the two-piece rabbit tool. We can see that by pumping the tool up, we can lift the container to the desired height. As we lift, the firefighters will slide a wedge under the container to capture our progress. Now we've got a sufficient spot where we can place our airbags and continue this lift. Now that we have a sufficient purchase to place our bag under the load, we want to select the largest bag that we can fit in there possibly. We're going to use the 20 ton bag. We want to slide the bag in, centering the X on the center of the load. We see the bag is placed centered with the X on the load. Now we can call the controller and have him slowly inflate. Up on yellow. Slow. As the bag inflates and the load is lifted, our two firefighters are going to stabilize the load by continually moving the cribbing in. Okay, now we have our wedges set. We're going to come up a little more so that we can capture this load with a 4x4 block. Note that the lift is done very slowly and controlled. We set our 4x4s spaced out evenly. We can back our wedges out. what we're going to do now is lower the load onto our 4x4s, thus capturing our progress. As we see, the load is resting on our cribbing, our load is captured. What we need to do now is stack our bags and continue to lift until we reach the desired height. Now that space provides with our progression lift, we can stack our bags, which is highly recommended. We always want to place the larger bag on the bottom, and we want to offset the hoses. This will avoid confusion when we're inflating. Once again, the bags are placed centered under the object using the X. As we inflate, we want to inflate the bottom bag slowly till we make contact, and then we can alternate the bags until we reach the desired height. As the lift progresses, the firefighters want to use the wedges to take up the space and stabilize the load. We must remember, as we lift an inch, we need to crib an inch. The space is taken up with the wedges until we can fit another tier of 4x4s in. We may have to bring the load up slightly in order for the 4x4 to be able to fit under the load. We back our wedges out, we place our 4x4 under. Remember to never place any part of your body under the load. Use the reach of the wood to place your 4x4s. Try to center the contact points 
so we get maximum capacity out of our crib stack. Now we can lower our load onto our cribbing. And the load has been successfully captured. At this point, we could perform our extrication and feel safe that this load will not shift and drop onto our rescuers or our victim. In progression lifting, Although it may seem slow and tedious, it's what's necessary when we're lifting heavy loads. We lift an inch, we crib an inch. And as we lift, we want to stabilize the load to prevent any unnecessary movement. And we certainly want to capture the load before we perform an extrication. I'm Paul DiBartolomeo. Thank you for watching Training Minutes.